What you about to see? Well, it's already been done before. It's nothing new. Other people have done it. I just so happened to get my hands on a Power Wheels and decided that I would try and build my own. And it's not like you can go to any store and just buy one of these. So that's why today I'm going to be taking this small racing engine from Harbor Freight and putting it into this Power Wheel. Before we can even put this motor in there, we've got a lot of work to get done first. I have everything stripped off the car that I'm not going to use. I'm basically just using the body and going to build a frame. Now what I need to do is, is start chopping all this plastic out of here. I can start pulling measurements from my steel. I got the measurements for the steel, but the weather's getting bad and all the steel is outside, so we're gonna wait till tomorrow to cut the steel. But in the meantime, I got a bunch of goodies right here from Go Power Sports. I got wheels and tires, axle, torque converter for the motor. I'm gonna start just putting all this stuff together for the night, and then tomorrow we'll cut the steel and start building the frame. Got some wheels and tires. Went with a six inch racing wheel with a 13 and a half inch tire. Get all these out, get them put on the rim, and then after that, we'll start building the axle. This is the whole axle assembly and sprocket and the brakes. But everything in this box came from BMI portals. <coughs> axle hanger, we got some hooves.
we have one axle. This is where we're at. The rear axle all assembled. Got the body cut like it needs to be. And I think so far it's looking pretty sweet. It's gonna be tight. I guess now what we'll do is we'll put the torque converter and everything on the motor. That way tomorrow whenever I get the frame built we can start slapping everything in the place where it goes and see if we can't make something happen. What I have here, torque converter from Go Power Sports. I was struggling real bad to get the holes on the torque converter lined up and the whole time the back of the torque converter was hitting on one of the oil fill caps. An oil cap. Is that piece solid? Might have been. The little tool and cut it. Gotta make a little modification real quick. Let's see if that did the trick. We lined up now, boys. Well, it's the next day. We've got a lot accomplished last night. I'm gonna go outside, get everything set up, and start chopping some steel and get this frame built. The frame, I went with some one-inch square tubing instead of round tubing because you don't have to do all the notching like you would with, with the round tubing. And you pretty much just slap it all together and weld it out. But it's been sitting outside on the ground. For a little while, it's all dirty, full of trash. You can see, I'm gonna get a wire wheel and get it all cleaned up. We'll get the chop saw out and start cutting. I think we we're like a 30 second out. That ain't gonna hurt none. So I'll go for it. So right here what I'm trying to do is center the motor off the outermost edges instead of centering off of the engine mount holes because with the torque converter cover it's actually wider on that side and if I center off of the holes I'll end up with less leg room on the left side. That's center.
clean these up, get them tacked on, and then we'll see how our motor sits. Well, we got our frame stiffener slash motor mounts put in. Now we're going to pull the rear tires off and start trying to figure out the steering. Twenty-nine and a, so I need a piece of tubing twenty and a. Yeah, that'll be our front axle. So right here, I got a piece of tubing that I cut about 20, 20 inches long, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these spindle brackets and weld it directly on here. That'll give us our front axle. And all we'll have to do is notch out in the frame. That'll give us our angle for turning. Clean this tubing up and then tack these brackets on and then we'll get a placement on the frame. I made a rookie mistake and somehow managed to delete the footage of me assembling the front axle. Well, we have one assembled front axle. I don't have any tie rods right now so we had to get a little creative and use a piece of wood. But we just did that for now to hold the tire straight so we can figure out where we're going to place the axle out on the frame. Close right there. We've got it figured out where the front axle is going to go. Now I need to tack in some little scrap pieces of steel so we can cut the outer side of the frame to be able to set the axle where it needs to go. And then we can rebox in around. We have to cut anyway, that way it can give us some angle for our steering. I'm just going to tack in these random pieces of steel just to hold the frame together so I can cut it. We got the side rails cut out. We can put our axle in, fit it in place, and have a roller. I gotta tack this brace back in. It broke. Probably better if we flip it upside down. Tack it in, master on it. I think I'm saying it right. We'll have a roller. Now we're just going to push over and try to find how much of an angle we're going to put on, on an axle to give us our right caster. Put the body on and see what it looks like. 
Well, we got a rolling frame. All I got left to do is order some steering and we can continue with that, get the motor mounted, and get some fuel in this thing and take it for a run. That's it for this video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.